Hi everyone! In this video, we are going to see how some nodes specific to graphic tablets work with Odyssey brushes. For this video, I am using a Wacom Sentin 27HD, which is a 5 or 6 years old model. Uh, my nodes will always be connected to the size of the brush, and there is a print string node to show you what happens in the output log panel. For the recall, according to your tablet and your stylus, Iliad may be able to use various input. The most well-known is pressure, which is the strength we exercise on a stylus. Uh, more often, the more we apply pressure and the bigger or the darker our stroke is. However, there are also many other information sent by the tablet and you can see the list right here. So um, let's start with altitude nodes. Altitude is also commonly known as a tilt and it's like the angle of the stylus. So the node get altitude goes from 90 degrees to 0 degrees and get altitude normalized goes from 1 to 0. Uh, you will understand that 90 degrees or 1 equal perpendicular and 0 means horizontal even if it's not exactly possible to uh, be horizontal with the stylus. So if we connect get altitude to get size modifier through a multiply node, we have to be very careful because uh, we will multiply a size, in my case it's 20, to the actual value in degrees of the altitude, which means we'll get a huge brush. So in the end, if you want a normalized behavior, you should better use the node get altitude normalized. So I will connect get altitude normalized. And we can see the result. So now you see the size changes depending on the tilt, on the altitude of my stylus. Now let's see the azimuth. The azimuth is a little harder to explain, but it's simple to understand, so I'll, I'll do my very best. Uh, let's imagine a circle and the tip of the stylus is your center. The rest of the stylus body is like the hand of a clock, but with values from 0 to 360 degrees. So here it's 0, here it's 90, 180, and 360. So just like we saw with get altitude, if you use get azimuth with a multiply node, you will multiply the size of your brush with the azimuth value. I'm going to connect get azimuth to the size, and I will lower the size of the brush from 20 to 1 and I will display you the output log panel so you can see the uh, values sent by the stylus to Iliad. And so you can see that depending on the direction I take with the stylus, my brush gets bigger and bigger. And so, as I explained earlier with get altitude and get altitude normalized, you should better use get azimuth normalized, which means the value will go from 0 to 1 and not from 0 to 360, which makes things much easier when you multiply this with the actual size of the brush. So, I will change the size of my brush to 20. I can see now when I rotate the stylus, here it's uh, almost zero. We can't, can't see anything when we draw. Then it's a little bigger and a little bigger. Then we have the get distance along stroke node. This node simply takes the distance covered in pixels starting from the moment you clicked with the tip of the stylus. So, the further you go, the larger the stroke is. And again, don't use a multiply node or lower the brush size to 1. Uh, then connect get distance length stroke to get size. Compile. And I display the output log panel so you can see the values. 
so we can see the further I go, the larger the stroke is. And then it's, yeah, way too big. <laughs> Uh, the two last nodes are get twist and get twist normalized. Twist is based on the rotation of the stylus. Uh, however, I won't be able to show you this one uh, as it requires a specific pro art pen from Wacom, which I don't have because it's in my office and I'm still locked at home. <laughs> Anyway, um, that's all for today and I hope this video was clear and you learned a few things about the tablet notes. Uh, before you leave, you know how it works. Like, subscribe and comment if you have any critique, feedback or questions. You can also join us on Discord and you can support us on Patreon to get a new pack of brush every month. Thank you. Bye!